This is Late Night Health. I'm Mark Allen. This is one of our fun parts of our show where we get to spend some time with our friend Robert Clancy, the author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Soul. That's a book, by the way, you got to read because it, it'll give you a lot of insight on how to make your life better. And it, it just it, every now and then I'll pick it up and re, reread a chapter. It's really quite good. Today, Robert is going to talk to us about unconditional love. Robert? Yep. Hi. Uh, it's great to be back. Uh, yes, my, my quote today is on unconditional love, or my thought, and it is, if your heart were a mirror, it wouldn't reflect who you are. It would reveal who you can be when you love unconditionally. And uh, I posted many posts on my Facebook page, as you know, that deal with love. But whenever I put that unconditional love in front of it, some people have a lot of trouble with that. They feel like they're giving something up. They feel like I'm relinquishing my control to someone else so they can (laughs) dominate me or something like that. And uh, it's more, it's just having an open heart. To me, it's on the other side. So I, I see their perspective, but it's often kind of I chuckle when I, when I see some of those comments. <laughs> yeah, why would they say, why, why do they feel that? Yeah, I, it's a control issue. I think that they feel like uh, maybe they had a bad relationship and they felt like they were vulnerable. And I think that that's really the key word. They, they swap unconditional with vulnerable love. And... It has nothing to do with being vulnerable. It has everything to do with just accepting another person, flaws and all, in the way that they are. And, yeah, you don't have to, you know, uh, condone things that they've done. It's not about forgiveness or those things. But just putting it out there that when you meet someone, if you keep your heart open, it just opens up the possibility. Well, I think of a puppy, first of all. You know, you bring a new puppy home and you feed it a few times. And that puppy will do anything for you. I mean, unfortunately, there are people who will beat that dog. But the dog still comes back and shows unconditional love. How do we relate that to to people? You know, I, I, it's... I think that's where some people struggle. They feel like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna love unconditionally and take that abuse or other things and you know, if you're in an abusive relationship, it's not the unconditional love is not really part of that per se, but it's more of just being open as when that puppy first came into the house, it didn't have any preconceived notions of you, but yet it accepted you. And I think that that's the key thing, that it accepts you for who you are. And that's why I think a lot of people love having their animals in their house because they get that unconditional love from there. And what they need to do is take that and bring that out to the rest of the world. Well, we also theoretically have unconditional love for our children. They they come out, you, you see this bundle of joy, and even if they're 38 years old, you still love them unconditionally, no matter what they've done. Or at least that's the expectation. Yeah, and... You know, I think it relates to that as far as with your family. Um, that's a great um, way to, to frame it um, because you do have that unconditional love. And you can't really choose your family. <laughs> you know, they just, they're just they there. You're born into it. And uh, you've got to accept them for, for who they are. But, you know, everyone has those flaws. And, you know, when you can accept them in your children, if you can apply that to other people, everyone's going through something out there. And I try to bring that unconditional love at least open my heart to that possibility that they're going to be a good person, that they're going to be accepting, and hopefully return that same uh, feeling to me. How do you get unconditional love? Not give it, but how do, 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 how do you accept it? Is it hard to accept from somebody giving you unconditional love? Like that puppy that is. follows you around all the time. <laughs> that can be a little uh, disconcerting. I think you had somebody following you around like a puppy. But, um, I, you know, the whole point, um, it's that compassion, the acceptance. Um, it's not feeling sorry for someone, but it's, it's allowing them to be who they are. And when they do that and they reciprocate that to you, that's that unconditional love when they're, when they're completely open with you. 
Well, uh, we've got uh, Robert uh, 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 Clancy here from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Soul, and he will be returning next week. And we're going to be talking next week. We have another um, uh, uh, topic that we're going to be talking about. Do you remember what that is? I yes, do. It's a, a <laughs> <laughs> Achieving your dreams. Achieving your <laughs> dreams. And I, that, uh, that relates to, uh, to all of us. All right, uh, Robert, thank you very much. More information about Robert on LateNightHealth.com. LateNightHealth.com and a link to his site, too. We'll be back. Don't go away. More coming up.